Throughout the pandemic, while we had strong focus on the safety of our team members and carefully following all the COVID protocols, we have been running our supply chains in an efficient fashion and making sure that we are able to supply our products to our customers. Again, in all of the end markets, in the tech ecosystem, the demand, whether it's work from home related demand or learn from home or e-commerce, the demand for uh, semiconductor components such as memory and storage, DRAM and NAND, which Micron makes, has just gone tremendously high. So we invested in our supply chain to make sure that we had redundancy in operations. Our globally diversified footprint has been very helpful in this regard as well, because as COVID protocols were impacting production in certain areas, having redundancy certainly helped us. And all of this, uh, along with the investments that we made in our supply chain, is improving the situation. Of course, the shortages across the semiconductor industry are still continuing. PC has been well known that with respect to having unmatched set of components to complete full production of PCs has impacted some of the demand of for semiconductors in the ecosystem, as well as some of the shortages have impacted shipments of PCs to meet all of the end user demand. And similar shortages, of course, have existed in the automotive market as well, as is well known, due to the semiconductor component shortages. However, these are improving. The semiconductor industry has been working very hard, making investments, maximizing production with in the installed capacity of production. While some of these shortages may continue during the course of calendar year 22, I would expect them to continue to gradually improve. Yes, some shortages may still last into 2023, but you would see, I believe, going forward in calendar year 22, continued improvements as the benefit of all of the investments in the semiconductor ecosystem bear fruit, as well as, as new technologies, new products help meet the strong demand. I would just like to remind everybody that today, the units that are being shipped in semiconductor industry are greater than the pre-pandemic level. It's just that the demand has just gone, has skyrocketed for all the reasons that we just discussed. You know, China, uh, as well as Taiwan, I mean, these are important parts of uh, the semiconductor supply chain and the technology supply chain. I think what is important, as has been realized through the COVID pandemic, is the importance of diverse supply chain footprint. And this is what businesses and companies have to do. And I, again, I would like to highlight here that Micron actually has a well-diversified manufacturing footprint. We have memory and storage, semiconductor wafer manufacturing in Singapore, in Taiwan, in Japan, as well as in the US. And assembly and test and packaging operations in Singapore, Malaysia, Taiwan, China. So having a globally diversified supply chain has become a necessity. And I think the pandemic has definitely taught us that. And this is going to be important going forward as well.